We're doing all 151 Kanto Pokemon. All 151 Kanto Pokemon today. I'm ranking them all. Right here, right now. Starting with Bulbasaur. He's a pretty solid mon. I like him. He's going to the A tier. Same with Ivysaur. I like Ivysaur a little more than Bulbasaur, though. I don't know if, it's actually, if that's just the Smash influence. Also, DG, you're going to have to like, get rid of these get rid of these ads on the side for me, please. Thank you. Uh, Venusaur, however, he kind of... He kind of drops the ball. He goes down here. I don't know. He's a little too pudgy after how well, well, not well defined, but like after these two had some definition. I don't know if I like him going pudgy and pimply. Uh, it's kind of weird. I still like him though. He he gets the B. He gets the da B. Uh, Charmander. I actually don't. He looks like a nerd, I'm sorry. He goes B tier. He like has a nerd shaped head. <laughs> that's that's the best way I can describe it. Charmeleon, however, he gets that A tier. I like his red. It's a good red. I wish I wish they had kept his red. I think I'm gonna put him right there. I think he goes. Yeah, I, I think he goes between the Bulbasaurs. Uh and then Charizard. Uh, I like Charizard. You know, I don't care if he's, like, overrepped. He gets to go A tier. And then finally, we have my favorite starter of the bunch. We got Squirtle. He goes up in A tier, too. Uh, he's gonna go right... I like him... I like him this much. <laughs> uh, War Turtle, also pretty cool. He gets to go up here, too. He probably is uh probably above i don't know if he's above squirtle but i think he might be i think he's below ivysaur actually and then blastoise very cool pokemon i love him he gets to go at the top of a tier let's go give it up for blastoise uh caterpie solid b tier mon i like his eyeball <laughs> and his red antennae and his shape he, he goes at the top of B for now. Metapod, not so much. He gets to go C tier. Uh, and then Butterfree also uh, gets to B. Uh, I guess I guess Butterfree gets a B. He's he's okay. Uh, Weavile, this one goes to D tier. I'm sorry, <laughs> Weavile, you uh you tried your best. Kakuna, I like a little more. In fact, I might like it more than Metapod, enough to put it up in B tier. I like his tie. It's a good tie. And then Beedrill, you also get to go in B tier. You get to go above Butterfree. Pidgey, C tier. <laughs> Pidgeot, or Pidgeotto, also C tier. Probably also below Metapod. <laughs> And then Pidgeotto, uh, Pidgeot, I always forget. Yeah, right there. There you go. It's like the same bird three times in a row. What do you want me to say? <laughs> it just gets longer tassels and tail. Rattata, I like it. B tier, probably at the end of it. Raticate goes down in D tier. I don't like it. Pudgy Rat, who wants that? I don't. It's not for me. Uh, Spiro. Duh, C tier. <laughs> Above Raticate and we 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 dot Weedle. Uh, Firo. Also D tier. It gets to go above Spiro. Ekans. We're going right here at the top of C tier. Arbok gets to go to A tier, however. I love it. It's a very cool Pokemon. I wish it was better in competitive. Uh, who knows? I'm going to put it up here. There we go. That's how much I like it. Uh, Pikachu. 
I like him. You know, he's it's the same as Charizard. No, it's super overrepped, but I there's a reason why. I like his design. It's like one of the only yellow Pokemon. <laughs> I, I gotta. I don't want to. Whatever. Okay. Uh, Raichu also gets to go up here in A tier. Uh, probably right there. That's good. Yeah, there we go. All right, Sandshrew. I love this Pokemon. Also, very cool. A tier. There's a lot of A tier mons. I feel like I I, I don't know. It feels kind of weird. That there's this many already, but what can I say? Uh, Sandshrew is gonna go right here. <laughs> Uh, and then Sand Slash, I don't like it as much. It drops down a tier. However, it's at the top of B tier. Uh, Nidoran Female. That's uh, solid. I don't know if I like Teenage Form. But it's a solid blue. I like it. And then Nita Queen also gets to go uh, near the top of B. And then we got the Nidoran Male line. Uh... Actually, just by virtue of the purple, I'm going to do this number. But then Nido King also gets to go to the top of A tier. Congratulations. Claim your throne, King, I guess. <laughs> uh, Clefairy, thank God this was never the mascot. It goes down here in C tier. It's the pink. I don't know. It looks weird. Same for Clefable. I don't know if this goes above or below. I'm going to put it below. Vulpix. Solid A tier mod. Again. Very cool. I like the elegance. I like how it's pet shaped. I, I could own one of these. If it didn't breathe fire. Uh, it gets to go up here. And then Ninetales. Also an A tier mod. Uh, we'll put it... So this might go like I'll put it like I'll put it behind Narbok. I'll put it right beside my uh, uh whatever it is. <laughs> uh, uh, Vulpix, Jigglypuff. Oh, this is a Smash influence again, but A tier Wigglytuff. For some reason, I don't like the white on its belly. It looks like it just spilt milk all over itself. It wants me to clean it up. It has to go at the. <laughs> He has to go in B tier. I think it's probably above the Nidoran forms. And probably Raticate and Kakuna and Butterfree and Beedrill and Charmander. And there we go. Okay. Above, above Venusaur. Zubat. Jesus Christ, it's so annoying. Golbat. I like his giant mouth. I had one of these in Pokemon Go that weighed 2,000 pounds. I, I need to provide proof of it, though. So hopefully I, I remind myself. Uh, this goes... Or it is somewhere around 2,000 pounds, I think. Maybe it's 2,000 kilograms. It's still an insane amount of weight. You know, I like it enough to put it near the top of B. We'll put it like... Right there. I also like its waddle. But like in the uh, Pokemon Stadium games. That's some good stuff. Uh, Oddish. B tier. I like it. It's it's a happy little thing. I'll put it above. I'll put it above B drill. Gloom. Uh, this one's actually hard to rank. I feel like I should put it in B tier, but at the same time, it's, it drools. I think it just goes at the bottom of B. And then Vileplume, also pretty cool. It can go right in front of Oddish. Paris. I like its eyeballs. It gets to go right here behind Caterpie. And then Paris Sect. I don't like it so much. Well, actually, no, it's it's all right. It goes above Gloom. Venonat, this is, believe it or not, 
This is our first S tier. I like it so much. It's just a fuzzball with giant red eyes. It's, it's helpless, and I like it. Please understand where I'm coming from. Uh, <laughs> Venomoth? This thing, I like it. It's kind of, relatively speaking. It goes, like, right there. That's fine for it. I hate... I hate how cursed these mons are. These are never going to get better for me. I don't know why they keep making diglets, but stop. It's... <laughs> I, I hate everything. I hate what the internet has turned diglet into. There we go. <laughs> it only makes sense that the three of them are also just below the one. Actually, it's not that bad. I shouldn't. I shouldn't do that to it. There we go. Meowth. Good memories of this Pokemon from the anime. I like it. A tier. Goes right with the other exposed Pokemon. <laughs> Overexposed Pokemon. Persian. Very solid cat. It gets to hang out. Like right. Probably like right, right, right there. If only because it's a little too basic. Psyduck, my mom likes this Pokemon. It gets a pass from me. A tier. Golduck. Eh. They probably do like B tier. I think that's fine for it. It's not really... It doesn't really have too much going on. I'll put it... Yeah, I think that's right. Mankey. It goes into the A tier. Probably at the very end. Primeape. This gets an S from me. I like monkeys, and it's an angry monkey. Growlithe. Also S tier. And then Arcanine. Also S tier. Uh, Poliwhirl. You need to go in the B tier. Right here, and probably in front of the Beedrill line, probably in front of the Vina Nat. Uh, yeah, no, that looks pretty good. Holy Whirl, I just like it. Okay, it's S tier. Same for Poly Wrath. What do you want me to say? They're both just squishy, I guess. I like the eyes. Probably both above. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? I think Poliwhirl is better than Poliwrath and Growlithe. I'll make that arbitrary distinction. Abra. I actually kind of don't like this one too much. Only because I got super annoyed from how many times it teleported away. Kadabra, even worse than Abra. I think this is probably D tier. Goes above Diglett, though. Alakazam, not too bad. I don't, I don't get the obsession with spoons, though. Uh, if I had to rank it, I'd probably put it like right, right. There, in front of most of these things. <laughs> Even though I just said it's not too bad, it's actually pretty good. I like it. There we go. Yeah, that seems right. Machop. I don't like its weird gut. It goes to C tier. Probably above these... Uh, you know, it, it can go right here. Behind Ekans. Machoke, also alright. We can put it, like, in front of Wigglytuff. And then Machamp. S tier. <laughs> you thought I wouldn't? Think again. I mean, I don't I don't know what you were thinking, but I'm thinking S tier. Just because I do like me some fighting types. 
probably my favorite type. I think this goes... I think it's fine at the end of... Actually, I'm going to put Growlithe back over there. All right. Uh, Bellsprout. I like him. He's a... He tries his best. I'll put him at the bottom of B. Weeping Bell. We can go up into A tier. I also like him. He provides good fun and entertainment. That's his value to the world. Uh... There we go. I like it. Victory Bell kind of goes back down. But he's still funny. So he gets to be in front of Golbat. Tentacool. Not too big of a fan. Can't say. He is a nice shade of blue with red. It's a good color combo. And then Tentacruel gets to go up here at the near the top. I think I'd probably put Tentacruel, like, above... Ugh, come on. Right there, in between Need a King and Blast toys. Geodude, I feel like Geodude is just funny after Tyler 1, post-Tyler 1. It goes at the bottom of B. Graveler? This chunky lad's ugly as flippity flu, So he gets to go at the D-tier bottom of, of, like, most things. There we go. I'll put him between the two, between Firo and Spiro. And then Golem saves the design, goes way back up into A tier. I'll put him in front of, in front of, in front of, in front of Raichu. That's pretty good. Ponyta, it's just a pony on fire. That's not like, doesn't exactly set me on fire, that is. But it gets to go, like, right here, probably. And then Rapid Dash. Hell yeah. Love me some Rapid Dash. Gets to go in that A tier. Uh, right there, I think. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, I love... Okay, here we go. We're going S tier <laughs> with the two slow bro with slow poke and slow bro. What can I say? They're giant derps. Do you need more? Because I don't personally. I think this one actually goes like right there. Maybe. There we go. Magnemite C tier. It's kind of creepy. Not going to lie to you. However, uh, I don't know. I didn't really have a follow-up. I'm sorry. Uh, three Magnemites look a little better, though. Magneton. Uh, Farfetch'd doesn't really do anything for me. I... Yeah, no. I don't. I don't see a world where... It deserves to go over, like, half these things in C tier. I'll put it above the Pidgeot line. Then we got Doduo. You know, I surprisingly like this one. It has to go somewhere near the bottom of B. Right there. Same for Dodrio. Good job. Ah. Oh, these two go in A. I'm sorry. I know they're, like, competitively useless as heck. But, come on, look at that. It's such a, it's got such a good face. It's, I love it. I love these mons. These, <laughs> these pudgy, these silly, these friendly mons. How can you go wrong? I don't think you can, really. Uh... <laughs> Grimer, you know, it's just sludge, but it's also really fun. It's like, how do you describe it? It's like a monster from the sludge or something, like Clayface from Batman almost, except it's purple. I like purple, so it gets to go... Gets to go in B tier. I think I probably put it above. Probably put both of these right there. It's a sludge monster. I don't know. Figure it out yourself.
<laughs> that's uh, that's what I did. Shelter. I hate clogging up beats here because it's going to make it harder for me to drag Pokemon. But Shelter gets to go in B tier also. Um, probably lower B, halfway through B. Yeah, you know, I'd probably put it like... I'll put it right there. I think that's a pretty good spot. Cloyster? Hmm. I think this gets low B. I think this gets to go above Geodude, but... There are some... Things the internet is responsible for. Involving Cloyster. Uh, Alright. Ghastly, you get to go at the top of A tier. Haunter, you get to go at the bottom of A tier. And then Gengar, you get to be our best Pokemon yet. Look at that. Look at that Gengar go. It's a great mod. Ghost types, it, <laughs> come on. It's round, it's got eyes and big smile. It's coming to hug ya, you know? Just let the Gengar touch. <laughs> Everything will be okay. Onyx, I kind of like it. I know it's very disappointing in its base stats, but I, for one, am kind of a fan. I think this actually does go at the bottom of A. Drowsy... You go down there. You stay far away. Actually, no. You get to go down in D tier. You get to go... Go right above... Raticate. Hypno. You get to go right there behind... Uh, Kazam. I mean, Kadavra. Krabby. Eh. I know it's basic, but... I gotta put it, like, in B tier, I think. Right? Actually, no. It doesn't feel right, putting it above Ponyta. It'll, it'll stay right there. Klingler, however, I will put it in B tier. Along with these other... These other hard boys. Ooh, excuse me. Voltorb. Something about Gen 1 eyes that are, like... I just like them. I know that's, like, what a lot of people say. About... The early Pokemon eyes. But it gets, it's just a round ball with like a pair of mean looking eyes. So, what more could I possibly be asking for? And then Electrode, unfortunately, I don't like its eyes as much. It gets to go down here. This is like the power of drawing things. Uh, <laughs> make sure. Your eyeballs are, your eyeballs are intact, folk. I'll put it. Yeah, no, it it actually can't imagine myself putting it above most of these things. I'll put it above. Bureau. I mean, uh, whatever. Far fetched. Eggs. C tier. I don't like them that much. However, I do love Executor. And it gets to go near the top of A. <laughs> a big doof. That's that's all I gotta say about it. Cubone, solid beats here. I like it so much that I'm willing to put it kind of like right there. And then Marowak, that's eh, it, it. Gets a pass. I think it's not as good as Cubone, though. Ooh, Hitmonlee. I like its shape. For some reason. Uh, A tier. Probably not above any of these, though. You can go above Weeping Bell. Hitmonchan? I kind of don't like its uniform, not gonna lie. I don't know why Hitmonlee doesn't have a uniform, but this one does. And the boxing gloves. Eh. Eh. At least gets to go... No, I'll, I'll put it at the bottom of B. Lickitung, S tier. It licks. It's huggable. Like, 
I want one. I want it to lick me in particular? Question mark? Look, it's it's lovely, okay? <laughs> Smogon or coughing. I like the purple. I guess to go in the A tier. Just for that alone. We'll put it above that one. Wheezing. It's also an A tier mod. There we go. I like it. I like coughing a little more. Right on. Um. You know, I like the cut of right on's jib. It gets to go up in the A tier. Right. Right. Riperior? That's not right. It, this thing. It gets to go in front of. It gets to go in front of all these. You know, looking at it now, it does kind of just look like a, a gray Nito Queen. Kind of. It looks like if you were to combine Nito King and Nito Queen, you get like Nito Tyrant. Gender neutral Nito. <laughs> uh, Chansey. It kind of just reminds me of. I don't know. It's a pink. It's a pink. It's pretty good. Tangela. Also in that S tier. Oh, God. I made a mistake. We're going to have to start, like, scrolling up and down for these. That's okay. Um, Kangaskhan. Eh. Don't really have too many good memories revolving Kangaskhan. It's also just got a weird name. Why is it named after Genghis Khan, but it's like a parent Pokemon? That doesn't... I'm not exactly making the connection there. I mean, there's some rather dark things about Genghis Khan uh, being a father to a lot of people, but that's that's not cool. That isn't we're not we're not going there. We're gonna put Genghis Khan. Uh, it, it probably deserves to be somewhere in C tier. Probably above Machop. Horsey. Solid B tier. Guess go right down here. Probably in front of the Dode Trio. Same for Seeking. Doesn't really do too much. Uh, these two? Oh, boy. <laughs> I like Goldeen a little bit. That's what I'll say. I guess it gets a good spot right down. There in front of Zubat. Seeking though, it gets to be the top of D. God, we are. <laughs> All right, maybe if I. Uh... No, it's fine. It's fine. We'll keep going. Star you. Top of C tier. Star me. In the A tier with you. You're purple. And you got a giant glowing red gem. It's two pretty good traits. I like it a lot. Mr. Mime. Ooh. Ah. Uh, C tier. Ooh. Don't like it too much. Scyther, you get to go near the top of A tier. I like the way you cut things. It's uh, pretty cool. Probably not. Don't don't cut the executor down though. Uh, Jinx. I know this is gonna be weird, but like, I think Jinx is pretty good. <laughs> Question mark. Uh, probably not too far up though. On A tier. I like the buzz. A tier for sure. Magmar. A tier for sure. Actually, no. Booby Duck, you go down here. <laughs> uh, probably. Uh, I like the buzz. You get to go, like, right there. In front of... Blastoise, probably. No. No, yeah, no, 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 no. It goes, like, right there. Pinsir? Get it out. Get it out. I don't like it. It's too much... The vertical mouth, that's it's not cool. I'll put it right there. Tauros, 
don't really feel too strongly about. It's kind of just a bull with three tails. Uh, that doesn't mean it's not too bad, though. Probably put it above. You know, it gets to go into B tier. Screw it. I'll, I'll put it. I'll have it break up the, uh, break up the hard boys. Magikarp. <laughs> uh, Magikarp, you get to go right here in front of Caterpie. Gyarados, nearly S tier. I don't have, like, I don't know. It's very cool. I've never actually used it too many times. I do like it, though. Don't get me wrong. I might even just go at the top of A tier. Yeah, that, that looks right. Lapras also gets to go at the top of A tier. It's a very nice shade of blue. What can I say? Ditto. I'm just bringing it because of the blob. And it turns into anything you want, but still. Blobby form. I think this is solidly at the bottom of B. Eevee. Ooh, it gets to go. It gets to go in front of all these other friends. In front of all these other uninvolved friends. Vaporeon. This is probably my favorite evolution. Gets to go kind of with these other water types. I'm realizing now that there's a just a whole row of water types up here. But Gen 1 had some strong water types. At least for me. Jolteon. Probably my second favorite of these three. We'll put it like right here-ish. Put it in front of Muck. And then Flareon. He has to go like behind Muck? Does that seem right? I feel like that's right. But it also feels very wrong. Porygon, not too big of a fan of. I think I like its later Evos, but it gets to go at the top of C. So not everything's bad. Ammonite. You know, I... I'll put it at the bottom of A. I just like the eyes. <laughs> the eyes with the shell. Amistar. It's kind of got that pincer creepiness going on, but I think it actually works to its benefit a little more. I think I'll put it right there. Cabu. I forget what this one's actually called. I think it's Cabu. It's just Cabu and then Cabu Tops. Uh, I like it. B tier. Cabotops. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's just the worst Scyther. Like, I don't know what you want me to say. It's kind of down here for me. Aerodactyl. Kind of a purple Charizard. That's alright. We're putting it... We're putting it, like, up here. I think that's alright. It's kind of... It's kind of weirdly shaped, though. Like, the head is a little too big. You know what I mean? Uh, probably right there. Snorlax? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> we got we got those S tiers on lock. I think I'd probably put it above Gengar, even. It's probably my... Spoiler alert for 34 minutes into the video. My favorite Pokemon of Gen 1. Congratulations. Articuno. Solid A. It's very majestic. I like it a lot. Probably above most of these things, if I'm being honest. Uh, it can, it can, get, it can chill like right there. Zapdos, right here into the S tier, right at the end though. Actually, above Tangela, actually above Growlithe and Machamp. There we go. That looks right. And then finally, Moltres is in fact in third. Because of the whole, if you were to turn its flames off, it just looks like a rubber chicken. But that's still not... When are you, when are you ever going to see Moltres with its flames off? It's not exactly a common occurrence. So I can't exactly fault it too bad, but it also doesn't speak to me as well as the others. However, it will go right there. 
Dratini, solid A. <laughs> it's a it's a it's snake friend, kind of, or eel, I guess. The drats, I guess to go. Uh oh man, it's got such a cute nose too. I'm gonna actually put it up here. <laughs> Uh, Dragonair, also very cool. I like it. And then Dragonite. Yeah. It's still an A tier, but it's like, it's, it's definitely down. There we go. Uh, you know, I'm going to put Haunter actually above these two. And then put this behind Haunter. That looks right. And also maybe move Mankey above <laughs> Starmie. Okay, finally, Mewtwo. Um, uh, see, I really like Mewtwo, but I think it goes at the top of A. It's very cool. It's got that cool factor to it. Uh, and I've got the nostalgia for it, but it's just, it's not, it's not these up here. Very weird criteria I have. And then Mew, solidly in the B tier. I think it gets to go, gets to be leader of the small friends. And there you have it. That's my 151 Kanto Pokemon tier list. Snorlax wins the day. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And or possibly like and subscribe for me. If you uh, don't mind, we're almost at 30 view, uh, 30 subscribers. So that'd be cool. And uh, until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.